What is up, y'all? So the other day I had a thought, and we're gonna be testing out here today. It made me think a lot. Right now we are at the store of all stores, the good old friendly neighborhood Walmart. Here's what I was thinking, right? So Walmart's known for their low prices and generally just to be like a cheaper option store. And as a lot of us know, fishing is just expensive. Walmart does have a lot of good cheaper budget options when it comes to fishing, kind of like helps cut the price down a little bit. But the other day I was thinking to myself, what is the most expensive fishing lure inside of Walmart? I mean, I've been into a couple different Walmarts, but I've never really looked for you know, the most expensive lore. I was thinking about this wow the other day. So I was like, yo, this is something we got to do. I'm extremely curious. So we're about to go into Walmart here. We're going to storm the fishing section. We're going to look around and just see, you know, what is the most expensive lore they sell. We're going to buy it. We're going to take it out to the water. And we're going to see if we catch a fish. Let me stop talking, man. Let's get into Walmart. Let's get this video started here today. Uh-oh. So it begins Walmart Christmas season is upon us. Rip Halloween stuff, literally all on clearance. Dude, they probably got some candy deals. Hey, they got the pillow hookup. They got the scarecrow hookup. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, no more touching fluffy stuff in this Walmart for five minutes. I'm already getting the death glares. Okay, let's not waste any time here. Let's not drop any more fluffy things. This is the section that we came for. So we got a pretty big selection. Looks like there's a big hole, just like missing out of like right there. But we got a lot of lures to go through. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. Before this video, we're going to be doing bass fishing lures like this stuff over here on this giant saltwater, like whatever the heck that is. We're, we're just gonna like kind of exclude that. We'll still try to see what the most expensive Walmart fishing lure is. Maybe it is a saltwater lure, but what we're gonna be buying today to go fishing in a pond is actually gonna be some kind of bass fishing lure, hopefully. I guess we'll kind of start over here because I feel like the saltwater stuff is, I mean, probably gonna be more expensive. I don't know, let's see what we got here. We got poppers, we got slash baits. All this stuff is around eight, nine dollars. Come down here, $12 for a big old extra. Let's just see what is the most, I think this is the most expensive on this section right here. $14 for a Repola floating SSR 14. That is a, <laughs> dude, that is a huge bait. That is the number to be, okay, I just literally, holy freaking crap, dude. $15.56, we got big old giant eel. <laughs> it's got like a giant weighted lip. It's got two different hooks. Can you imagine bringing this out to the pond that we're gonna be fishing? That is massive, like literally. That is freaking huge, dude. I mean, I can't see anything really being more than that, can it? Mm, all right, so as far as the saltwater section goes, I think that is definitely gonna take the cake here. $15.56, that is so expensive. Like if I was throwing this or trolling, I don't know, do you freaking throw this, troll this? If I lost this, man, I'd be so mad. They actually have some stuff here I've never seen before, too. So this looks like they're chicken necks that are brined. That is so interesting. Literally like chicken in the freaking, all right. And then this thing right here, blue, crab fuel. Kind of want to test this stuff out. So apparently you're supposed to soak your crab bait. What the heck does this smell like, man? Let's take a look at the freshwater baits. I feel like this is going to get pretty interesting. All right, so we got the soft plastics, $2, $3, $4, sort of around the same price ish. We do have some rollback stuff. So that's pretty cool. You don't really see too much rollback stuff in this Walmart, especially this fishing section around here. We got Carson Wentz hanging out. What's up, dude? From the soft plastics, we get over here to the jigs, the spinner baits, buzz baits, frogs, chatter baits, poppers, Crawfish, little rebel things. Out of all of these, this is the one that looks like it's the most expensive right here. KVD Sexy Frog, $8.64. This just might be, I don't know. We're gonna have to keep looking here. Coming over to the lipless crankbaits, we got Strike King Square Bell crankbaits. Lots of lipless crankbaits here. Oh my gosh, by 32 cents, we just found a new most expensive lure right here. $8.96, let's see. What exactly? KVD square bill crankbait. We're gonna keep looking around here. There might be something more expensive. So let's see here. We got a little micro swim baits. We got spinners, um, more little micro stuff. More lipless cranks all around the $5 range, honestly. I mean, dude, this price right here officially is the most expensive in Walmart, but it seems we have been duped. So behind that price tag, this thing was sitting there, but this actually belongs right here. That is six bucks, so that is not $9. The real lure that we're gonna be buying here today is... KVD jerk bait. Wow, that actually looks really, really good. Let me grab the other one here too. They're like all gone after that. So this is the most expensive lure in Walmart. We're gonna be doing a giveaway on the other one actually. So just stay tuned for that. $8.96. I think that's what it was, right? I've actually never used this lure before. So I, I mean, I'm not really a big jerk bait guy either. Look at that lighting though. So I'm gonna go buy these. Hopefully we catch some freaking fish, man, on Walmart's most expensive fishing lure. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, sir. I'm excited, man. Where are we whipping out the zing? I'm actually kind of excited today for a couple of different reasons. I'm actually pretty happy that this is what it was. On this channel, you guys have really never seen me use jerk baits. And I mean, in real life, I really like never use jerk baits, which is a big, like, I don't know. It's not a problem, but I think that this is one of the most versatile and best lures to use. Really for like any condition. Oh my gosh. So as I said before, we're going to be doing a bit of a giveaway here. Hopefully I don't lose mine do not worry it is completely free all you got to do is go down there click that subscribe button if you are not already and also click that notification bell leave a like on this video and then go down there and leave a comment telling me what is your favorite bass fishing lore i'm actually pretty curious to see what the answers are going to be to that and that is it man that is how you enter good luck to everybody i'll be announcing the winner in a future video but right now we got some business to take care of it is pretty windy out here which is actually kind of a good thing let's crank this guy out of here man the colorway for this lore is actually clown Ah, I can tell it rattles nice. Come here, boy. Ah, oh, hooks nice to the cardboard. We are rigged up, ready to go. I'm actually really excited, man. This is the second time I've ever been to this pond, literally ever. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but all the wind, like this thing actually goes pretty far. It's like a kind of a long, skinnier pond. All the wind is just blowing the water this way. Last time I was here, it was the complete opposite. It was blowing the other way. I always like to fish, like fishing the windblown banks is always like the best place probably to start. In theory, the wind pushes the bait that way. The fish kind of congregate over that way. And depending on the water temperature, the time of year, the fish's behavior, the sun actually beats down on the top layer of water and warms it up. The wind blows that top layer of water over to like the windblown bank, kind of churns it up a little bit, makes this part of the water warmer. So yeah, it really depends on the fish preference and time of the year and stuff. But fishing the windblown bank is just always, like it is always a good place to start. So we're gonna walk through all this stuff. So I guess with these jerk baits, they do have a lip, so you can kind of fish it sort of like that. That's sound, dude. So I'm gonna start off doing the cast jerk jerk. Again, I don't throw jerk baits, so I, if we're gonna, I just wanna catch a fish on this, man. If we catch one fish today, that'll freaking make my whole entire day. Pretty sure there's actually some pretty big fish in this body of water too. So if we could hook into one of those behemoths, that would be freaking sick, man. It's real, I mean, it seems to be good luck so far with the bass fishing. So we're gonna stick at it. Hope the digitally controlled fishy gods are on our side here again today. If you guys did not see the video where I actually bought this reel and I uh, fished with it for the first time, dude, I freaking caught the biggest bass of my freaking life. Literally insane. So yeah, I'll link that up in the thingy up there. Just gonna keep cast jerk jerking away here. I don't know how deep it is over here actually. Oh yeah, there's some salad on this guy. Oof. Sometimes you can just feel it, man. You got the salad buffet on your lure. Come on, man. That is such a cool sound. Let's make a little move here. So the weather here in Delaware is kind of like past the point of fall. Maybe it's just deep into fall. It is just like cold, especially at night. So this water temperature did not feel it, but it's gotta be down there, man. Ah! Now that could be both a good and a bad thing. As the water like cools down in fall, the bass move shallower to feed and you know, pack on weight for the winter. Hopefully man, these fish in here. Let me see if I can feel the water actually. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's getting pretty chilly. Pause, jerk, 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 pause, jerk, jerk, pause. Hmm, 100,000% has to be a fish. At least, at least one fish on this whole little windblown bank section right here. This is like, just too good, honestly. I don't know if this color lure might just be too crazy. Really hoping that's not the case. Is that a fish? Oh, that is some, oh, what the heck is that? Um, all right. Oh my God, I just got bit. I just got bit. Come on, man. It got like a lot more windy since I've been here. I've been here probably for like 20-ish uh, minutes I've been casting this thing around. 100% though, that was a bite. So much grass. This thing dives a little deeper than I thought it would. This place is also more shallow than I thought it would be too. Come on, man. There's gotta be something in here. Okay, so there was a lot of rain since the last time I was here. This was kind of just like its own little puddle that was not connected to like that body of water over there. It is now connected and there's freaking, there's gotta be at least one fish in these freaking tunnels. All right, it's not my preferred bait to be thrown into a tunnel, but. Oh, that was the cast. Come 
Oh man, there's gotta be fish in this freaking tunnel. Slays them. Really? Two, three pound bass, swear to God. Jeez. Yeah. I was over in that pond. Oh, I didn't okay, even... over right in here, man, I'm telling you. An eagle swooped through down here and grabbed a monster. <laughs> really? Almost didn't get over the house. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, they're in there. That's crazy. Yep, yep. Have a good one, buddy. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks. Wow, what a nice guy. I thought he was going to come kick me out. That guy is so nice, man. Shout out to Golf Cart, dude. We're going to be tossing some stuff around. Kind of switching it up a bit. Right now, I have a TRD. Actually, I think it's called a big TRD, something like that. I said that there's fish in this pond, too. I'm going to chuck it around here a little bit. Main goal right now, I think I'm going to go back over those pipes. I just wanted to check this out. Main goal is to catch a freaking fish, man. We got to get the stage started here. Oh, my God. I just got a freaking... Dude, I just got nipped right there. He had it, I just didn't set the hook. Oh my God, there's fish in here. The guy told me there's fish in here. I knew there was fish in here. Then I go and not set the hook. Oh, he's got it again. There we go. Oh my gosh, first fish of the day. Oh, oh my gosh. Whew, on the Ned rig. Literally, come on, man. Oh my gosh. At least now like, I feel a little bit better. I just had a feeling too, the Ned rig was gonna be our savior here today. Uh, there's so many pads. Like it doesn't look like there's a lot of pads, but like when you try to cast and like move your freaking bait. Holy man, it's just straight snag. Oh my god, I got bit. In the pipe. In the freaking in the pipe let's go dude first fish of the day holy crap i knew there had to be fish in the pipe all right this was pipe number three that feels so good first fish of the day out of the dead rig you look at this this is a really cold fish by the way but if you look at these pipes and you don't think there's fish in there you gotta be crazy wow i can't believe how cold he is all right get back in there buddy well the goal for this video here today was not to pipe fish let's see if there's any more down there Oh my god. Oh, dude, literally cast. Dude, the second cast. What the heck? Yo, what if there's a giant down there? All right, there we go. Yo, this is the pipe, man. Oh, did you see that? I just got bit. I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Freaking pipe fishing, man. All right, we're going to let this pipe respawn. We did not do number two yet, and we barely did number one. That is deep in the pipe. Super deep in that pipe. Oh my God, I got a fish. Is that a fish? No. No. How did I get snagged in the freaking pipe, dude? Oh, that is like the last thing we wanted. This is a snaggy pipe. Right, let's not throw it that deep in there. Probably know that could be like a freaking shopping cart or something. Oh, oh my God, what just happened? Came off, dude, that was, dude, there's a giant fish in this pipe and I'm gonna, oh my God. I don't know if he felt the hook. So, uh, yeah, this video took a turn. We were supposed to be jerking. Oh, that was not good. Now we are piping. So this is the second pipe right here. I swear, man. I hooked into a freaking... Oh, I can come down here, actually. I hooked into a giant fish. Never good when you smack the wall like that. All right, so we are back here at the windblown bank. I'm just going to go around and just cast a bunch of different stuff. See if we can catch, like, any fish. Right now, I still got the Ned Rig on. This is, like, a lot better for this pond. This pond's a lot more shallow than I thought it was. And there's just so much crap on the bottom that it's... I mean, this is not weedless, but it doesn't, you know, you can see it doesn't get super weedy. I'm just happy that we caught some fish, man. I did not get skunked from this pond yet again. I wish I caught that big one in that second. Like, dude, the Ned Rig always pulls through for me. So we're gonna cast it around here a little bit. I'm gonna switch to some other baits. And if we have time, we're gonna put that uh, clown jerk bait back on. See if we could do any damage. I don't know where these fish are. If there's even fish in here, how deep this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's another fish we lost. All right, I'm gonna kind of relax now. Work this bait just a little bit more finessey. See if we can yoink something of decent size out of here. Or, oh, I think I had a, is that a bite right on the... 
Does he have it? What is going on here? Something's got it. <laughs> Just freaking catapulted. Oh my god, you guys see that? This guy bit like he was bigger than that. I don't even, at this point, I don't even care, man. Freaking Ned Rig. Let's do it. Let's let this guy go. Super clear water. There he goes, man. We're dialed. Just took one on a flight. I don't know <laughs> if I get bit again. I don't know if I should like. I mean, I set it too light and then I got off and then I freaking full sent it and that guy just went flying. Some big old grass in there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, dude. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Dinkerfest. Very nice. Let's let to go. Oh. Jeez. Okay, so what am I missing here? Right away. Oh, that would be a better fish. Guys, I don't know if we're in Dinkerfest anymore. Okay, it's not that much better. I got fought better. Okay, this is, oh, well, yep, I'm just right there, like so close, man, to being in the Bassmaster Classic. Super professional angler. They seem to be all stacked right where I'm throwing it right here. I don't know if there's like a little, up. Oh, I'll tell you what there is. There's a beautiful snag in the middle of Dinkerfest. Okay, listen here, snag. You just don't understand. All right, so we were back to casting, just like I had to go back, I retied, but then I switched to this rod and I went over to the other pond and threw around the like Walmart lure. It's just, I don't know, man. I, I, for some reason, I just don't think we're meant to catch a fish on that today. Hopefully we do not get snagged at that same snag here. But yeah, this is like around the spot where I was catching all those dinks. I mean, there's gotta be sizable fish around here. That's kind of what I'm gonna be targeting. Nice old fatty, little, you know, sizable fish. Doesn't have to be a giant giant. I just want, you know, something. What is a fish? Okay, there he is. That's a good fish. Okay, that I literally just said it. That is the best fish of all day. Please do not stay down. Dude, that's a good fish. Come here, boy. Oh my God, you do not know how long it took to catch you. Let's freaking go, dude. Where's the best lighting here? Not a freaking giant, but a sizable fish, man. I mean, especially compared to the ones we were just catching. Oh my God, that is such a good feeling. Sharp gripper teeth, definitely feeding on whatever bait fish is in here, but this seems like today, all they want, I mean, I threw so much stuff around. All they will eat is the Ned Rig. Best fish of the day, wow, that really is some cold water. There you go, buddy. This little dingle right here really is what saved the day. Super weird how like particular and specific these fish are about like what's being thrown at them. I've thrown so much stuff. So I guess it's just like a Ned Rig kind of pattern. It's just so weird. If I threw a jerk bait, spinner, lipless, fluke, swim bait and Ned Rig and all they want is a little floating turd man. All right, well it sure wasn't a jerk bait pond or a jerk bait kind of day. Don't worry though, I'm gonna be using them more in the future. But if you guys do have any like tips, like was I jerking it, right? Definitely do not forget to enter the giveaway. And man, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot to me. And I mean, if you do enjoy my videos, be or not already, make sure to go down there, click that subscribe button. And if you never wanna miss it up, but for me, hit that notification bell. That was a very interesting day of fishing. These fish, these fish are weird in here, man. As always, thank you guys so much for all the support. It truly does mean the freaking world to me. We got a lot of cool stuff coming on the way. Just stay tuned. All I gotta say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next you video.